Higgs boson is asking, what's the historical context behind the violence done by the IRA? Is it religious? I love to hear the Celtic. Oh, Susie, the Celtic beauty's opinion. Susie's not here today. We will ask her again um, late next week when she's here. But my opinion, first of all, you shouldn't trust her on this opinion. That's her people you're talking about. So she's going to be biased. So listen to me. <laughs> okay. Listen to me. I could talk, I could talk about this more objectively. Okay. Um, yeah. So no, I'm kidding, by the way. Um, I think, I think that this has the, the religious side of this has been exaggerated as a way by a lot of atheists because they're like, it's not just Muslims. It's like, like, what are you talking about? And like, oh, the Crusades. And people are like, well, that was a long time ago. I'm like, ah, the IRA. The IRA was recently, and that was religious, wasn't it? But I don't think it was. Was it? Um, I think they were like, I don't think it was religious. I think like just because you could like separate them through religious lines, that doesn't mean that they are. Uh, that that means that their their struggle was because of religious reasons. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm right. What do you got? Let me see what you guys think. So, D is saying it was Catholic versus Protestant. Yeah, but was that the reason why they were fighting? That's the problem. But I think like just because they were Catholics against Protestant, a lot of atheists jump on it like. Hey, religion, always, it's always religion, isn't it? <laughs> Again, one point for atheists. But I don't know. Let's see here. Look, the conflict was primarily political and nationalistic, fueled by historical events. It also had an ethnic and sectarian or sectarian dimension. But despite use of the term Protestant and Catholic to refer to the two sides, it was not, it was not a religious conflict. A key issue was uh, the status of Northern Ireland. Not a religious guy. So there were, it was, it was maybe a coincidence. Okay. I mean, it is, it was, a coincidence that the line okay so for example you had was you know the fact that they they were ethnically separated okay the ethnicity was related to the religious identity okay but that was so it was like a um a third variable that was connected to both okay so the ethnicity or the sectarianism was how they were actually divided over political issues. And the ethnic, the sectarianism was also related to the religious identity, but the religious identity was not indirect, directly responsible for the conflict. So it was a, the religious identity was a, um, as a third factor that was indirectly related to the thing that was causing the conflict was not in. So do you understand what I'm saying? So you have, you have B, okay, uh, is related to C, and B is also related to A. So A through B is related to C, but A is not directly related to C. I hope you get what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Yeah, so that was like, get, make sure like, so this is the problem with atheist activists, right? They're always like looking for like, oh, there's a conflict. Um, and as soon as there's any mention of religion in the conflict, they want to jump like, ah, it's religion, religion. If we, if we get rid of religion, everything in the world will be fixed because religion is the problem behind everything. Okay. So just make, make sure that as an atheist activist, you don't over, uh, you know, you do, you don't overdo it over like this, um, over like finding causes where there's, it doesn't exist. Right. So yeah, that's the answer to that. 
Uh, Kenny in the live chat is saying, interesting. I did assume it was purely religious. Learned something today. Oh, well, oh, me too, actually. I didn't know. D is saying, yeah, but they also say it, it is land dispute in Nigeria where it is Muslims versus Christians. Muslims always want land to expand the Islamic empire. I don't think, okay, so D, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that, it, I mean, in Nigeria, we know that the dispute is religious as well, right? Like we know that Muslims, for example, attack Christians because they are Christians, right? Like we know that happens, okay? But I don't think it's fair to say that Muslims always, always want land to expand the Islamic empire. I don't think that's what they're thinking. I mean, everybody wants land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, I don't think the motivation all of a sudden changed for Muslims, okay? Like, do you think that if the Muslims, if they weren't Muslims, they would be like, extra land? Guys, do we want to build an empire? No? No, no guys, you can keep your land. We don't want, we don't, we don't want land given that we don't want an empire. <laughs> like, who doesn't want land, okay? Everybody... <laughs> Everybody wants land. And, and I don't think the people who are fighting for land, if they happen to be Muslim, they're thinking their their motivation is like, yes, yes, this is working according to plan. Our Islamic caliphate is coming to fruition. Like, no, that's not what they're thinking. They're like, hey, yay, extra land. But extra land has like immediate utility without, <laughs> without you having to plan for this like, <laughs> eventuality of having an Islamic empire, <laughs> right? Okay, so D, I agree that many people deny any religious cause. Yes, so there are, yeah, I do understand that there's religious cause, but I don't think the Muslim, every Muslim's mindset is thinking about the eventuality of a, I think that's very, I think only a fringe, very, very tiny fringe of Muslims are thinking about like, Oh yeah, extra land so that we could like finally have our Islamic caliphate happening. I think it's just, I, guys. Even Taliban doesn't think that. Okay, it's like if you're Taliban, you're thinking about only Afghanistan. Okay, if you want to go from thinking only about Afghanistan to thinking about like, no, I want the caliphate to take over the planet, you then switch from being Taliban to being to to join the Daesh. You switch branding. You switch sides. So even among the radicals, um. Not all of them think like that. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, I do. I do agree the that some people try to deny the religious aspect of it. I'm just saying that we shouldn't go. Uh, we shouldn't do the same thing from the other end. Okay, we shouldn't like exaggerate. So some people deny the religious ex aspect of it, and some people on our side exaggerate the religious aspect of it. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.